Rash on the Valley's Best Rock, 105.1 The Blaze. Breaking news, an alligator has escaped his enclosure at the zoo in, in Wisconsin. Not, not, in, not here. So I think, unless he's really fast, I think, uh, I think we're going to be safe. Uh, I always, uh, I'm always entertained by stories of zoo animals escaping, especially ones that I know frighten people. But the, uh, the people that run the zoo in Wisconsin want, want residents to know that Rex the alligator is not to be feared because he's, quote, very docile, bro. That's that's comforting. There's an alligator on the loose that everyone's supposed to remain calm because he's pretty chill. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock, see how many jokes we can come up with about Wisconsin's missing alligator. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds on the clock starting now. If you hired another alligator to figure out how your first alligator escaped, would you call him an investigator? When zookeepers examined his enclosure, they found he'd been tunneling behind a poster of Raquel Welch for years. Get it? Like, he shot, shot Shane. Like, you got it. Don't worry, he's a cool alligator. Unless you're a cat, he'll, he'll totally eat your cat. If you use GPS to locate your missing alligator, are you then a navigator? What do you call a zookeeper who keeps losing his animals? Unemployed. If you help find the missing alligator, are you a Gatorade? <laughs> Come on, I thought Gatorade was pretty good. Between the missing alligator in Wisconsin and the uh, tiger on the streets in Houston. Oh, and the bees that can now open soda bottles, if you saw that. Uh, the wild is coming to get us, and I'm I'm just never going to leave my house again. Make a rash decision every morning. If you like that bit, don't miss the show weekday mornings from 6 to 10. And if you didn't, we'll, we'll try harder next time. Oh, also, like, follow, subscribe. You know the deal. Rash. Because someone has got to bring order to the chaotic mess that we call life. Weekday mornings on 105.1 The Blaze.